Hi, welcome to video number four on how to use the Caltrans Hotmix Asphalt Pavement Smoothness Adjustment Spreadsheet. In this video number four, we'll cover importing the mean roughness index data from ProVal into the Pavement Adjustment Spreadsheet. So if you don't have the ProVal software yet, you can go to the roadprofile.com website and download it. The address is shown up above www.roadprofile.com and at the top you'll see the software you can download the pro software there if you're a resident engineer and you're about ready to start a project you need to have this software on your computer before your first estimate so submit your IT ticket now and ask them to install it so the first step you need to d take is to locate your pavement profile these are the profiles that the contractor measured out on the project so at this point in time in my folder here I have four profiles existing baseline pave and final we'll just assume that all we have at this point is existing we're early on in the project so once you have the proval software installed on your computer typically all you need to do is just double click the PPF file and that'll go ahead and start proval or likewise you could go start ProVal and add that same file so right now it's adding the single file even though it says adding files okay so <clears throat> now what we can also do here is like I said before you can add files we're just gonna go ahead and just demonstrate on how to add the files. so we already have the existing profile in here let's go ahead and add the the other three files so I'm just gonna highlight those three files add them so, so we'll have this ProVal project file that has all four files in it. And this is the file that will have to be named in accordance with the contract. And then submitted along with the payment adjustment spreadsheet to the resident engineer as a proposed payment adjustment. Okay, so here we can see the existing baseline pave and final. Those four profiles are in there. So we're in ProVal right now, obviously. So what we want to do, the first step we want to do is make sure in the right that we're in the right module. So ProVal's got a lot of modules. If we click the Analysis button on the top ribbon, you'll see all the choices for that are in ProVal. What we're going to be using is Ride Quality. It's already selected here. If we were going to develop a grinding plan, we could use it. We would use a Smoothness Assurance. There are some reports out of here that are similar to Ride Quality, but the specs say to pull the MRI report out of the ride quality module so we're gonna do that so we're gonna click on ride quality and once we click that the top left corner will say ride quality whatever module we pick it's gonna say that in the top left corner so <clears throat> the first thing you need to recognize is that you t typically just start from the top left corner on these in this program so the first choice that we have is analysis type. If you if you started trying to pick from the bottom up, it just doesn't make sense. You're working your way down because what we pick up top, it'll modify what we see down below. So analysis type. What ProVal will do is it'll give you an overall roughness value of an, an entire lane or just an entire wheel path in the entire lane. That's what it would do if we picked overall. Continuous is what we would pick if we wanted to look at localized roughness. We'd look at the continuous moving average the 25 foot moving average of each wheel path for MRI what we want to pick is the fixed interval that's the fixed 528 foot segments that we're going to analyze so we're going to pick fixed interval so once we pick that we'll see the choices change down below okay so now the next choice we want to make is the ride quality index so there's a lot of choices in this drop down Caltrans only uses IRI and MRI the rest of these are for other states specs this proval is used across the country so if we were to pick IRI, what we could, what we, that's what it's selected on right now. We can analyze one wheel path at a time. That's what IRI means when we're looking at this software in this screen. If we look at mean roughness, it'll look at the average roughness of both wheel paths. So that's what we want when we get the MRI, when we look for the MRI report. So now what I want to do is just select that, that single profile right now. I could select them all and run the profiles on all of these but all we want right now is the existing profile so I'm going to select the existing profile MRI we can leave the threshold as it is 90 
and the segment length we want to leave as is 528 feet that's the tenth of a mile when we select that this typically gets pl applied automatically the, pl the 250 millimeter filter this is required by the Caltrans specs also and what this does is it basically smooths out the profile under the contact length of the rubber tire so the an actual pavement profile is an elevation every single inch so what this 250 millimeter filter does that's 10 inches it essentially takes 10 inches worth of elevations and averages them and then it looks at a moving average so that you know the rubber tire it, it's not it's it's less sensitive so that's definitely that's per our spec so now once we have that checked we can go ahead and click the analyze button if this were not selected this button's not clickable so we don't want to make sure it's selected we're going to analyze it now this is going to so this is that just ran the quarter car model through the whole six or seven miles of road here and calculated the mean roughness index for every tenth mile so each one this is the graph the chart form so we have three choices here chart table or map this is what it defaults to is the chart and so each one of these steps is 528 feet so we can see a number it looks like it's right under 120 and there's one here right under 160 we can go ahead and look at it in a table format and that's what we're going to want to import but first let's just go to the map view so we can see that we have a threshold of 90 so what this means is where we see red it just means these tenth mile segments or partial segments if they're being shortened due to a leave out at the end their the average roughness is higher than 90 so it'll go red if we were to change this to 300 we probably see all blue if we change it to 50 we'd probably see all all red so okay so if we go back to the chart remember we see 120 just under 120 and 160 so if we go to the tabular format that's what we want to we want the table so we can import that data into proval we can see the start station and the stop station of the DMI for the each segment the segment length and the MRI so this is the four column table that we want to import into our spreadsheet so to what we can do in proval is all the tables that are in here we can just right click in the header and we can copy it with the headers or without the headers the first choice is with the headers which is what we want so we're going to click copy table to clipboard copy table to clipboard we're going to minimize this and I'm going to go back to my worksheet so this is the this the payment adjustment sheet with the general input sections we don't have anything entered yet so I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to find the existing IP profile and here's the four columns that we want to cut and paste that data into that's on our clipboard right now so make sure we're in cell A1 and we're going to we can click paste or or we can just hit go ahead and click control V and that's what I, I prefer to do so there's our four columns of data we have our headers that's what we want in this spreadsheet so now when we go back to the front cover sheet we'll see that same start and stop distance for every one of those segments the, the segment length and the average MRI that's our four columns that we just brought in so that's how you import MRI data and you know we will repeat this later for the baseline paving final but for this video we're going to go ahead and stop here in the next video will show you how you can save the file so one thing I should mention is once we imported that existing IP data in and populated these cells we had the information necessary to populate the begin station and the end station so now we can see what the file name is so when we go to click save file in, in the next video it's gonna use that string of text to name our file and we can also use that for the PVP file. So that's the end of this video and we'll move on to the next video. Thanks for listening.